Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm getting with uh, Scorpio is that a kind of a lot's going on. Like there's an awakening. So, you know, a tower, a light bulb moment. It's more than a light bulb moment, more of a tower moment, which is things are crumbling or you're seeing things that need to be crumbled. Like, you know, the tower is the foundation crumbling. But I feel this is more negative people because what I was picking up was snakes. You know, people that are trying, you know, what a snake is. That kind of thing. That kind of a person. So it's an eye-opening situation for you at the moment. That's what I feel that's going on. This could be reflecting in your, you know, twin flame, whatever title, dynamic as well. So let's see. If you're new, please check out my playlist. Got about twin flames, inner healing, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Knight of Swords. Then I'll jump into these guys. So the Page of Pentacles. Mm. That's different energy. They're all different. That's your person. So this is you staying still. Okay, what I'm getting is... You could be thinking it's your person. I'm not too sure, you know, who's the snake or whatever. The people around them is the snake. But what I'm getting, what you're doing is you're like now focused on your money. I feel you still have an element of wanting to be with your per person because my page of pentacles is like she's in a wedding dress. To me, anyway, that is, well, what I'm reading today but it's like, well, that's not happening, so I'm going to focus on my money and transform into just going for your money. If you're definitely interested in that, check out Mission Bootcamp. I'm an entrepreneur, as you can tell. I help people to be their own uh, work for themselves and get their monies up. This is about, yeah, it's, it's like you're transferring your religion. I don't know what you were doing before. I don't think it's in in that actual terminology of I'm transferring from Christianity now to entrepreneurship. <laughs> but in that, at the same time, kind of like that. Instead of thinking, okay, I need a, you know, a husband and, a, you know, all that kind of thing and a, to get the house and the car, you're transforming into more of, well, I still want that, but now I'm getting my own money. That's what I feel. There's like, you're feeling a change. The chariot is here because you're not actually taking the action on it. You're figuring out how to do this, where you want to go. Like I said, there's a lot going on, I feel, with you. Like, thinking about what you want to do, what's your next move. Uh, like I say, if you're new or if you're not, and you're now thinking about the change, because that's what the planet's doing, making all humanitarians, light workers into their actual role. So I'm here to say, look, you don't, a humanitarian is not voluntary work. You get paid. Charities get paid shitloads of money. It's the people underneath that don't get paid and do it for free. My point is, is that uh, check out my playlist, check out my website if you want to know more. Even though I'm still working on the website, there's more to add. So this is about moving forward, but... Removing, like I said, there's something about removing the negativity, those snakes, the people around you who you feel, who you feel are doing like wrong or I don't know what's there's something about that balancing out. It's like, you know, people stopping you or something like that. So you're, yeah, making a plan and then you're moving forward. 
your person over here is what well, like i said this could be both of you because i've you're both looking at the the chariot and the confusion on this planet is that well you both collaborate as a team and move forward no for light being star seeds or humanitarians whatever i hear to show people you work on yourself you balance out your masculine feminine and so does your person you work on yourself you love yourself you know you become friend with yourself all that 100 percent. then they do then you get together this is what you're doing and your person i feel is thinking about the same um how to move forward in his life as well his or hers the underneath is like the hermit like i said going into the roots of the situation twin flame checking out to see it's like a new spark of passion with this twin flame journey let's say what i'm picking up here other tower readers is just like your person's coming with an apology a person this community this team on the subscription list we help you in all aspects of your life this is not just a tower reading i help you with your business to get successful with your business because both just do crystals and sell it online that's not enough i help you to get really established because i'm an entrepreneur you got d which helps you with health um andrea helps you with astrology um Lorraine helps you with your galactic starseed side and then there's Sonia which helps you with children as well. D helps with children as well. How you can become an entrepreneur with children. Do you see? This is what this is about. This is more than that. And this is going into, oh, okay, maybe you found this community and you're thinking, well, actually, this is what I need. I don't just need another twin flame tower reader or twin flame saying how to love myself. It's more deeper than that. And this is what I think you're figuring out. And once you do that, you kind of put your person on the back burner because you're having a life. Most people have a life with, well, I want to create a life with this person. Yeah, because you ain't having a life. It doesn't mean you ne let go of your person. It just means that, well, actually, if you got up and you had a business, which, you know, you had to do tarot, then you was uh, people on your website and you were doing podcasts, then you was doing crystals or whatever, that that you think you've been bothered so much about your person this is like a blockages that is stopping you and your person from moving forward is what i'm getting and you're seeing that into your reality like i said lots going on and this is about time timing divinely time for you to move forward on this twin flame journey and like i said then you commit it's not like then but that's where that's what your commitment is as a light worker then you get your prize as your person the page of swords is about yeah, cutting this leads to cutting out people a start from you cutting out people who make you feel it's not left out in the cold that make you lack. For example, if my mum was alive and I said to her, I want to be a, a you know, a, I don't know, astrologer, and she'll go, What are you doing that for? Get a good job in a stable business such as, you know, Marks and Spencers. That depends where you are. You know, they're very established. I don't even know if they're still out there. That's our old school. Well, that's what she used to say back then. You know, in a good establishment <clears throat> and work your way up to supervisor. She didn't even say manager. No. Wait, work your way up and hopefully you'll be a supervisor. That's what you're recognizing. This reading is about cutting people off because it's a page so you're starting to cut people off that keep you from you know lacking because you're gaining wisdom this will push you forward and <clears throat> same with your person he's reflecting on the knight of swords you're the page of swords he's you're the he's the knight of swords this is leading yeah this is laid out like both of you are going back to your birth and recognizing actually there might be my family or they might be all right well not all right but you know there's people that like i said snakes the, and I say that in my ebook. Your twin flame light worker star seed. Go to my website, buy those programs. It's got about the twin flame star seed one, the first one. It's got. It talks about how, you know, you might be brought up with people who are like that, and when you start expanding, they get like awkward because a couple of reasons. I've got it in the book. Well, my my main reason is because they don't want to do it themselves. It's hard work to be where I am, and I'm still starting. I'm nowhere near I want to be in my life. Nowhere. But to do what I do, 
um, I tell people what to do and they leave. Why? Because of his hard work. It's far easier to say Sophia's a fucking idiot and she's a nightmare than to do what I do. So what they do is they, they pull you back. No, don't go and do that. That's silly. Twin flame stuff is silly. Astrology, oh, that ain't real because they don't want you to. Because if you then go do it, then what do they be like? They're like, oh, she can do it. Now, I look like an idiot if I don't do it. So I ain't going to bother to do it. So let me drag her back. Plus, they, you're their mates. You're their family. They don't want you to go. That They like that same old, same old. So this is about loving yourself and checking out your upbringing. This is about, like, Three of Swords is like, your person might have created heartbreak. And the heartbreak, I tell you, the drama from your person teaches you to jump into the unknown. So a new start is happening here for you to jump into. I'm not going to follow my parents, my, my friends, belief system, because that creates heartbreak for me. Because I am a light being, star seed, humanitarian, star, whatever, to jump into the unknown, to do what I'm here to do on this planet and create abundance for myself. And that's with the Empress. So a brilliant reading. Like I said, check out the playlist, check out my website, Twin Flame Starseed Programme. Speak to you later.